Hello and welcome back and today I'm going to answer a very simple question that I get quite frequently in the comments, on the blog and in life when I meet people from day to day. It is, why are hard drives still a thing in 2021? It's super annoying isn't it that right now with everything moving super fast and cloud and NAS and SSDs being as good as they are, why are hard drives still around? Because hard drives have been around for a long time. The earliest hard drives knocking back as you know as early as the 70s. Indeed, when I was a kid, any computer device I used from the earliest Acorn computers that I used, even early consult had one form of hard drive storage or another that was available or to be utilized in one shape or form. And my first computer, my first dabbling with Windows, I used hard drives and thought, oh, these are good. We can't possibly be using these in the future. We're going to have rocket boots. I watch TV. I saw programmable batarangs. God damn it. I saw Wallace and Gromit making a cup of tea from their bed in a contraption where he put his trousers on. The future was going to be incredible. And hard drives, as good as they were, wouldn't be around. And fast forward to 2021. Why are you still a thing? Well, today's video, I'm going to go through five reasons why hard drives are still around and five reasons why they need to knack off and go away. Let's start with the negative. I always start with the good ones. Let's go with the bad ones. Let's go through everything wrong with hard drives. Why do we feel that hard drives shouldn't be around right, right, right now? First and foremost, the speed. Hard drives these days predominantly, although there are of course other options out there, take advantage of a connection known as SATA. Now, SATA or Serial ATA is kind of the go-to connection. SATA takes advantage of a bandwidth of up to 6 gigabits per second or around 600 megs. Now, genuinely, SATA must have been around commercially and as the standard at a personal approximate guess of at least 12 to 15 years. Indeed, previous generation drives that took advantage of IDE or ATA these drives here, or IDE even, um, took advantage of those. They were still around in the mid noughties but they were slowly being phased out in favour of SATA. But yes, SATA is still here. And SATA at 600 megs is looking pretty pathetic, given that the hard drive inside, the most we can see in this one here, this is a Western Digital Ultrastar, gives you around 260, 270 megs, not even half of the available bandwidth. And then you've got SSDs, some of which that have been knocking around since the late noughties that have been cracking out four to 500 megabytes per second easily. So again, the fact they got SATA is already the reason that it should be ripped up and thrown away, right? What about the second reason? Nice and simple, hard drives are power hungry we kind of assumed with everyone getting a bit more aware of climate change people getting a lot more aware of waste and the resources that go into these things you would think in terms of recyclability and in terms of sustainability hard drives would have been in the bin long ago given they use a lot more raw materials inside it contains some components that cannot actually be recycled in any way and ultimately when it comes to more business and secure level stuff where they can't just let it be recycled and they have to destroy them as much as they can right down to the little discs and stuff inside it's, it's a tremendous amount of waste both environmentally from factories and internally with the output when people are done with these drives you did think that had been in the bin long ago given the power hungry nature of them and just generally the waste that goes into them Another reason that SSDs you would have thought would be long in the bin by now is just the storage capacities and how big they've got, as impressive as it is, the prices haven't gone down anywhere near as much as you would have assumed. Given that SSDs have been around there for more than a decade and their clear improved performance there, a lot of us would have thought that the price of hard drives in terms of production, much like people assuming electric cars, once we go over the tipping point, we'll basically put a bullet in the head of commercial kind of petrol fuel cars. In the case of hard drives, people just thought we get to a point now where their price tag makes them unsustainable and therefore, well, they'll just be gotten rid of. But in the commercial sector, they still very much is. So price, as negative as that is, they still seem to exist. Another reason people thought hard drives would be long dead by now is they're so bloody fragile. When you look at hard drives like this, and particularly me flailing my arms around the studio, 
These things, if they get knocked over, if I knocked this with my elbow, there's a better, and a better than average chance that that drive is now done for and it's not going to work. Now, SSDs, I could sling this across the room and it would probably still work. There's a, you know, a great chance of it still working. Same goes with this NVMe. I could throw this across the room seven times, it would still function. This I could drop from a small height, good chance it's game over. So you see what I mean? A lot of us would have thought this would have gone away by now because of that hard drive being so fragile. But yet, yeah, here we are, recording in 2021. Hard drives are still here. So why don't we move on to the reasons why they are still here, why hard drives are still a thing. So let's go into the first one there. First and foremost, hard drives are still, even now, the best position between other storage medias. If we look at hard drives here, SSDs, they're faster, sure, but they're not as enduring. The data on them doesn't last as long. The result is that you have an SSD, and on the other side, businesses take advantage of things like tape drives, hard cold storage that lasts for decades now that is obviously super expensive there at the other end and then you've got ssds which are super fast but nowhere near as enduring the consequence is that despite price and all the other stuff we've discussed hard drives are still the best warm storage option between them they're the best option for data that needs to be stored but needs to be retrieved or accessed periodically in a way that cold storage is too much of a pain in the ass to do because of its whole long-term storage and cold storage ability but has nowhere near the urgency of like the os on an ssd there so that's one main reason why hard drives are still around the fact that they're still just too darn suitable for that middle ground there between them next i've already touched on it but the durability of ssds because SSDs are getting faster and faster and faster and take advantage of things like PCIe Gen 4 and U2 and U3 connectivity, the result is that durability never seems to get to get better and better as far as things get innovating because the drive gets faster and then all the work that's been done in durability making these last more and more and be more enduring of the overall performance just gets negated because people want them to go even faster and then all the research to keep these things durable all it does is maintain the same damn standard whereas hard drives are incredibly durable by comparison to ssds and therefore the durability when it comes to SAN setups, NAS setups, or direct attached storage setups means that they will always be preferable in that regard. And once you put them in a big old batch and array, the performance can be put together to match that of SSDs. Next, another reason that SSDs are still around, and you know, a number of you have probably been screaming this at this, this video throughout, is the fact that innovation within hard drive technology hasn't stopped. Everything I've said up to this point would suggest that in around about, I don't know, one late wintry, rainy March afternoon in 2007, people went, yep, we're done with hard drives. But it wasn't like that. Things have continued all this time and innovations in hard drives have continued. And consequently, the things that have been done to get more capacity into hard drives, to get the performance better, the IOPS, the response time internally, and probably one of the biggest and current innovations known as Mac 2 from Seagate, the ability of adding two arms internally inside these drives has resulted in doubling the speeds with Mac 2 hard drives giving 450 or even 480 megabytes per second read write performance internally doing a much better job of saturating or filling that available SATA connection there so again it's not the end of the road for hard drives because of things like SAS and Mac 2 and the innovations going into the platters and compression of technology with things like HAMR heat assisted magnetic recording EAMR energy assisted magnetic recording and MAMR microwave assisted uh, magnetic recording but Again, when it comes down to hard drives, hard drives still exist for a number of reasons. And one of the biggest ones of that is the rest of the client devices that exist in the world. And although SSDs, as far as SATA SSDs go, have now kind of given way to M2 NVMEs with their increased performance in the thousands, M2 NVME slots aren't that common on most devices. 
They're available on high-end editing machines. They're available on your new game consoles, your top tier, your PS5s and such. But the majority of client hardware from home entertainment to still a lot of business level hardware, NASs and DASs and stands and more, all still use SATA. So as long as SATA continues to predominantly exist in the market, so will hard drives because of that price point and the durability and more. And that's ultimately the still, you know, industry wide adoption of SATA in one shape or form means that hard drives aren't just not going anywhere, but that continues to push the innovation of hard drives to keep them in the conversation. Now, the last reason that I think hard drives are still around is a little bit more grey because it's one of these things that always is chipping away at hard drives existing and that is one word that gets thrown around shortages now hard drive and ssd shortages have existed i would say for the last decade one way or another be it unfortunate natural disasters like tsunamis um, fires at plants the raw materials not being accessible because the demand has far outseeded the supply, be it because of the pandemic change in the way people work, trending subjects like cheer that have changed buying patterns, all of these water shortages in Taiwan, I nearly forgot awful droughts happening out there at semiconduction plants, all of these things have led to shortages. Now when it comes to shortages, Although there will always be hard drive shortages, because of the way they're produced and the batches they're produced in, and the actual raw materials that go inside, current shortages in the last year or two have erred a lot more savagely towards SSDs. SSD shortages have been much, much, much worse than that of hard drives. They've existed, and of course, Chia played a big part on hard drive shortages while Chia targeted the larger hard drives, but they also went for SSDs, and SSD shortages have been around for a great deal longer than that of hard drives, at least within the last five or six years. There's been more shortages of these than they have of these, and the result is that hard drives have been relied upon for a great deal longer because they still continue to exist and of course you've still got that SATA port inside your machine and these are around and these are a nightmare to get a hold of what are you going to pick but this has been a video about why hard drives are still a thing in 2021 maybe there's a point that i missed maybe there's something you want to add maybe there's something else that i have not factored in why these are still around that you think i should know let me know in the comments if you're looking for the right solution for your network or data storage solution head into the comments and find the link to the free advice section over on nas compares it's manned by two guys me and eddie the web guy we answer every query and we don't do anything to your email we don't charge you it's a few donate buttons use them ignore them it's up to you, but it's there to help you. If you enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to learn more, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.